Now you see this particular question. A 30 year old female of the US military was on assignment in a subtropical area. She reported to the physician with a complaint of patchy light colored lesions on her chest and upper arm. Okay. Upon examination, the lesions are irregular and well demarcated. Included in the differential diagnosis was this particular thing that is Petriasis versicala. The question itself is giving up the diagnosis Petriasis versicala. A scraping of an affected area was obtained. The best description of what will be observed in a positive specimen with these options that will there be hyaline hyphae will there be hyaline hyphae and arthroconidia e cells with broad base words or e cells with short hyphae okay so let's find out what is the answer so this is a typical uh, picture of uh, this particular petriasis versicala done by what malassezia furfur malassezia globosa as per the skin faculties but uh, more common is uh, like uh, it's not written anywhere properly what it is the more common and all but obviously what have come in the exam is regarding the malassezia furfur. Petriasis versicala caused by this malassezia we are already discussed up fine. The diagnosis of this particular one as per the microbiology is being done by visualization of certain fungal elements okay. So in this particular uh, all uh, these particular uh, mycotic infections along with dermatologic infections that is of the dermatophytes and all basically we look out for what fungal elements fine so along with that how we visualize these fungal elements and all so you take the skin scrapings okay or you can take the like uh, suppose in this particular one you have to take the scales epidermic skin scales and you have to treat it with a koh okay around 10 percent koh you can put up and uh, after some time what you will observe under the microscope that is what is termed as fungal elements so in this particular scenario what you will get you will get the round e cells and the hyphae which are usually short fine and that particular thing only is termed as what spaghetti and meatball appearance which has asked a question regarding this particular one fine arthrogonidia which was uh, there in one of the options they are the features seen in whom coccidiodosimitis one that is coccidiodomycosis that is a dimorphic fungal disease in that you got to see these arthroconidia but the arthroconidia they are rectangular shaped conidias fine and uh, in the dermatophytic infections what you observe in them you see a hyaline or a clear hyphae and arthroconidia is seen here also rectangular ones fine and obviously they are observed in skin hair and nails in all of them you can observe this hyaline clear hyphae and arthroconidia so basically the answer to our question will be like uh, other options the dermataceous hyphae they are found in the what skin scales removed from the superficial skin infections like tina nigra and all so that is what is dermataceous dermataceous means pigmented okay if the pigmented hyphae are found in whom like infections of like uh, some of the organisms uh, like which cause this tina nigra tina nigra is done by what horte Wernicke. so that is also a dermataceous one e cells with broad base budding you must be knowing up uh, from the lectures the figure of 8 appearance so this is what is observed in the tissue infected with blastomyces dermatitis which does what blastomycosis okay so basically the question if we come again for this particular one these options were there answer to our question is what guys what you find here in this particular one the e cells and the short hyphae okay e cells and the short hyphae that is d is the answer and that is what is termed as what spaghetti and meatball appearance along with that what additional information you can remember that you can culture it on the sda this particular uh, fungus malassezia furfur okay on sda uh, like uh, you can put up olive oil overlay and uh, there is a fried egg appearance which is observed in this particular one okay and the same fried egg appearance is also observed up in the mycoplasma okay that is mycoplasma pneumonia when grown the PPLOGAR have, having a fried egg appearance it is also having the same and they also shows the fluorescence okay that is uh, yellowish to greenish fluorescence is observed up with this particular malassezia furfur fine so basically all these are important questions from uh, the examination point of view okay it presents with what it presents with hyperpigmented and hyperpigmented uh, skin lesions okay mostly scales macules these all are observed up in this particular entity okay so this is you required regarding that now coming to the second question that is uh, in the mycology a six year old uh, african american girl the resident of a large u.s city present to clinic with scaly patches areas of alopecia on the scalp with hair shafts broken close to the scalp the hair they do not fluorescence under the wood slide if this child has tinea capitis then this is the picture of tinea capitis and this is the picture 
of the organism which can do this particular one so the basically you need to remember this is the cylindrical macroconidia of the trichophyton okay now the most likely etiology of this tenia capitis is what so the question can be asked in any form they can give you this picture they can give you this particular picture okay along with this history or directly this particular picture so they can change up as per their convenience they can change up and you need to know the answer in every sort okay so this way also it can be asked other way around also it can be asked so you should be prepared for that epidermophyton flocosum microsporum odini trichophyton rubrum trichophyton tonsillus so what should be the answer of this particular one if this is being given off you know i have just told up trichophyton is the one which is having this uh, cylindrical uh, shaped macroconidia to answer this particular question as per the picture wise stuff also and the history also is trichophyton tonsillus how let's see okay so first of all tenia capitis that is the infection dermatophytic infection of the scalp and uh, the most common etiology is what microsporum odini that is sometimes also called as what gray patch the second manifestation of childhood tenia capitis is caused by tonsillus that is also termed as what black dot okay so basically why it is known as black dot because dot is visible within the area of the hair loss so that is what is termed as black dot infections are primarily seen in the child 3 to 9 years of age although some adults may be a asymptomatic carriers of it so basically this infection is of children 3 to 9 years of age but this particular thing can be observed up in the adults as a asymptomatic carriers fine so generally it is being said that this infection resolves with puberty okay this particular infection resolves with puberty now this odoni and tonsillus they both are towards the humans more that is termed as anthropophilic dermatophyte and the microscopic observation of the infected hairs shows what arthroconidia okay here also is what is shown rectangular shaped conidia that is termed as arthroconidia around the hair shapes when you see in the microscope obviously so two types of things are there one is ectothrix and one is endothrix ectothrix is done by what microsporum odoni and endothrix is done that is by this tonsillus okay and uh, if you see my image based uh, discussion we have discussed up the tvs tonsillus volatium shawn lenny okay they are the one which associate with endothrix whereas the odoni associates with what ectothrix stuff so wood light examination that is, which produces uv rays it produces that's odoni yellow green color what does it produce yellow green color how to remember that a new odi is being like uh, uh, introduced in the market which is having a yellow green color so you remember like this the ectothrix which is done by this microsporum odini it is having a yellow green color fine and tonsillus does not show any sort of color okay tonsillus does not show any sort of color so how we come to the diagnosis of tonsillus in this particular question it is because of those uh, particular uh, this particular thing that is cylindrical microconidia which is a feature of trichophyton one thing and this is black dot fine but other way around also i have shown up if the question comes in other way around uh, along with the fluorescence and all that is being given off then you can answer up odeni and all okay so this is regarding this question now coming